Here we go. This seems to be working. Maybe it's just the iPads. So you're going to be right there. Do you want to move over a bit? Yeah. I'm going to move over. Okay, good. Let's see. See, look. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We don't want somebody right here, so we'll have to move them maybe forward. Yeah, I'm going to create a row up here. Little bit in my yoga. <laughs> Jeez. I tell you what, I am so missing my hot yoga. Yeah. I can't even. Can't even. It's my sanity, right? As much as I really didn't think about it much. It really does change the quality of your life. It does. Yeah. No. I miss my past. Oh. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, it's yeah. as weird as it sounds, I think everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm glad that they're shutting down some places. They just became too, Way too big. Way too big. Like McDonald's. Right? McDonald's. And, and then the bottom line workers, which are your teachers, get treated like crap. So, I don't know. Something to think about. Well, it is, but it's, you know what? Did I describe it well? Yes, exactly. Look at this big inside. Oh my god. Or called the ten strike people. Leah, do you want to just go on your mat and then maybe we, we'll turn the crate up and stick it up top? Yeah. But we'll see how you go. See, look. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Yeah. You know what? I've been eyeballing this space and then when COVID happened and where we don't have enough space, I thought, well, why don't we just put it in here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 They'll scrap the generators. <laughs> <laughs> Too many choices, huh? Like, oh, I could be here. No, I'm I want a beautiful view. <laughs> or I could look at the generators. Over <laughs> here is probably better. <laughs> so we're going to take a little bit of time to do that. Small baby. What is it? 
it's just kind like of it. light, you know, you can dress it up, dress it down. It's just so lovely. Mm -hmm. I think that's the one.
there are plenty of vast areas you can watch over the low temperature. I'll see it The space that no one uses. I guess we can use the front there because that's people are sitting there. Yes. It started already. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna check. It's recording. Okay. So here we go. No. <laughs> no. I don't even have uh, cable vision. Yeah. That's really yeah. I just don't watch TV. That's not true. Ever since all this, you know, stay at home stuff, I've been binge watching all sorts of strange things. <laughs> stuff I'm like, what? What is going on? American Gods, Bosch, all that kind of. Oh, so you got into the binge watching of series. Yeah, just <laughs> sitting there. <laughs> no commercials. <laughs> so. so we just have Hillary on. Hi, Hillary. So we're just going to zoom this so people at home that couldn't make it will be watching it. But no, nobody else is in the view here but Aaliyah. Okay. So, so there was um, nine people signed up, two, four, six. We're missing three. But if you want to just get started whenever you want. Yeah. And then um, I'll disappear. And then I'll come back. You got your phone if you need me. You can text me. This is good. I am. Unless you want to bring my laptop home. <laughs> no, we're good.
I'll just wait because if somebody comes in, I have to admit them. to a richer, a sweeter breath. All avenues of yoga originate from the practice of hatha. And hatha translated means ha for sun and tha for moon. The idea that within us dwells the solar and this lunar energy. We often bring awareness to the solar energy as it is the solar that dictates the way that our plants grow, the amount of daylight that we have. However, the ancient mystics of yoga, the rishis, believed that it was the lunar energy, the energy of the moon that facilitated spiritual awakening. This particular full moon is the sturgeon moon, and it calls us to welcome change, especially if we're quite connected and attached to our daily lives. Are we willing to shift our perspectives? Are we willing to soften? And are we willing to let go of it? Allow this practice to be a moving meditation so that it is not only moving the body, but also internally stoking that environment for spiritual expansion. With your next inhale and breath, reach your arms overhead, bring your palms to touch. As you exhale, lower your right fingertips just beside your hip, reach your left arm over towards the right. Now, 
as you come on to your right fingertips, really push the ground away from you. Then breathe into the back of your left lung. Lean your chin away from your chest. Maybe even look up at your left lung. Start to reach your left fingertips forward. Round your chin towards your chest and really breathe space between your shoulder blades. Inhale, reach both your arms overhead, palms touch. This time, left fingertips land beside your hips. Stretch your right fingertips over to the left. Really feel that space that you're creating from the right hip crease all the way to the space under your armpit. Breathe into the space you're creating for yourself. Once again, lean your head back, maybe even looking up at the right palm. Good. Right fingertips stretch forward, round and dome the upper back, chin to chest. Inhale, both your arms overhead, reach up, stretch up, look up. Exhale, lower your hands down to the ground, unravel your legs and make your way into a tabletop position. Place your hands under your shoulders, your knees just behind your hips and spread your fingertips nice and wide. With your inhale and breath, lift the chest, lift the tailbone, look up the back. Exhale and round your spine, tuck and chin together. Inhale and breath, mind lengthen the spine, keep the belly soft. Exhale and push the ground away from you, lift your upper back, creating your own steady rhythm here as you unify your breath. This rhythm becomes so clear, just like the breath, that you can close your eyes and go inward. Maybe the body is calling for some more natural, more intuitive movements within your calf to calf. That could mean circling the hips, the ribs. That could mean more side to side movements, chin from shoulder to shoulder. Take what you need to awaken your spine. And together, we'll take one more very honored cycle of breath. With your toes tucked under, root down through your palms and lift your hips up and back, find downward dog. Pedal out your heels, sway your hips, nod your head, yes or no. So your physical self settle into stillness. Invite a generous bend into your knees and from your hip creases lift up and back towards the sky. Find your breath in and out through your nose. Look between your hands and quietly step to the top of your mat. Either a few fingertips to the floor or holding opposite elbow, let your entire upper body drink. If the sway from side to side feels intuitive, go there. And as you surrender your entire upper body to the call of gravity, take it even more, let your head, your neck, your shoulders go. Place your palms to the front of your shins and take a halfway lift. Shoulders back, lengthen your chest. Exhale and bow. Do that once again. Halfway lift to inhale. Use the entire exhale to fold. Hearts down through your feet, rise to stand, reach the arms up, stretch up, palms stretch. Exhale, hands together at the center of your heart, palms here. Opening ourselves to the energy of the moon so that we may be receptive to the space of transformation within us. Inhale, reach your arms over half and up. Look forward as you exhale and touch the ground. Please take a big step back with your right foot, lower your right knee to the mat, and with your inhale, reach your arms over half. Hook your thumbs, lift up and away from the waistline with your hands. Keep the 
that and sink a little deeper into the left arm. As you lift your chin away from your chest, think of keeping the back of the neck nice and long, arc your upper body towards the left. Once again, breathing into the space from hip to armpit. Inhale, come back to a neutral spine and lower your hands to either side of the left foot. Please take your right hand nice and wide off of the back, lift your right knee. Reach your left arm to the sky. Bend your left elbow and take the top of your left hand around the outside of your right hand. As you squeeze your shoulder blades together, think of turning your chest deeper to the left. Once again, open to a deeper breath. Stay for the inhale. With your exhaling breath, unravel, hands to either side of the left foot, and step your left foot back to meet your right in downward facing dog. Please reach your right leg straight up to the sky, bend your right knee, and stack your right hip over your left for a three-legged dog. Spread the toes of your right foot. This will engage the musculature of your leg and lift your right inner thigh high. Look between your hands and step the right foot underneath your right thumb. Lower your left knee and rise on up, low lunge, arms over head. Once again, hook the thumbs, lengthen more upright. And with that spaciousness through your upper body, lunge a little deeper into the right knee. Take a big breath here. And with your exhale, arch your upper body to the right. The left side of the body is where our lunar energy resides. The space of creativity, of intuition, and the call to action. Breathe into that space. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, hands to either side of the right foot. This time, the left hand walks wide, lift your left knee off the mat, and reach your right arm to the Bend your right elbow, top of the right hand around the outside of the left hand. Turn from the space under your left armpit, deeper to the right. Twisting as an opportunity to clear out, to wring out in our physical body, our energy body, our mental body, anything that no longer serves us, anything that separates us from letting go. Inhale and unravel. Exhale, hands to either side of the right foot. Step your left foot forward to the right, the top of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale and fold. Drift down through your feet, rise to stand, reach up, stretch up, palms touch, maybe a little back end of the thumb. Exhale, hands to the heart center, and arms by your side. How still can you be? Leave your hair, leave your clothes, and stand as you are. of your right. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, and pull over your strong legs. This time, take a big step back with the left foot. Lower your left heel for warrior one. And start with your hands on your hips. Now the left heel, the left pinky toe, really push down into the mat. Feel that leg activate. And from your left hip, turn more forward. Reach your arms over. That sink a little deeper into the right thumb. Think of that long line of energy through the spine as you start to extend forward in about 45 degrees. Arms in line with the ears. Stay nice and steady. Let the breath be forward. Your next exhaling breath, lower your hands to either side of the right foot. Lift your left heel, walk your right hand slightly forward, or walk your hands slightly forward, push off your right foot and lift the left leg to the sky. Now look back to your left toes. Can you point them down toward your neck? Push into your 
Take a big step back with the left leg, big step back with the right leg, downward facing dog. Reach your left leg to the sky, bend your knee, and stack your left hip over your right. As much as the left armpit wants to lift, turn your left ribcage down and lift your left thigh bone behind you. Look forward, step your left foot to the left up, land your right heel, hands to hips to start for your left. Push down and away from you with your right foot and reach your arms to the sky. Feel your navel draw in towards your spine. This engagement of the core will protect your lower back, a forward 45 degrees. Notice your breath. Notice where you can soften. Last cycle of breath here. With the exhale, lower your hands around your left foot. Walk that hand slightly forward. Lift your right heel. Push off that left foot, right leg to the sky. Use the crease of your right hip down and spread your toes. Lift from the upper inner thigh. Step your right foot forward to the left, top of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale and down. Please move your peace finger, so your pointer, your middle finger, around your big toe. Bend into your knees. Let the elbows widen. Really feel your stomach rest against your thigh. Breathe into the skin between your shoulders and feel your ears melt away from your back. Let the elbows stay wide and using your inner thighs, slowly work your legs too or towards the base. Release the bind, hands to hips, elbows to the sky, rise up nice and slow. Arms by your sides, mountain pose. Please bring your feet to touch. A little gap between the heels may benefit you here. Reach your arms to the sky and sit into your invisible chair. Join your hands together, heart center. Press into your palms and with your exhale, twist to the right. Left elbow, looking outer right now. Push into your palms so that your right shoulder stacks on your back. And from this space under your left armpit, turn deeper to the right. Here's where it gets a little spicy. Shift your weight into your right foot and lift your left heel. Maybe you shift all your weight into your right foot, take a big step back with the left leg. High twisted lunge. Further to here, you can spread your arms. Hands together at heart center. Inhale to unravel. Exhale, hand frame your right foot. Please step your left foot in ever so slightly so your heel is nice and high over your toes and work your right leg to the three. Rounding your forehead towards your kneecap is an option. Variation of pyramid pose, horizontal to Really humble your forehead. Feel the texture of your breath in the back of your throat. Soften into your right knee and step the left foot forward to meet right, top of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale and bow. See that your feet are touching, squeeze your thighs together, bend your knees, get slow to your foot. Hands to heart center, press into your palms, we're twisting to the left this time. Right elbow hooking outer left foot. Ground your weight into your left foot. Lift your right heel. Find one point of focus on the floor. This will help you stabilize. Take a big step back with the right foot. Keep twisting. 
option to spread on. Hands together on center. Inhale, unravel. Exhale, hands free the left foot. Once again, step that right foot in ever so slightly and straighten into your left leg. Rounded forehead to knee cap. Really squeeze your knee towards your thigh and push down through the left big toe. Maybe your hips can lift a little higher. Bend into your left knee and step the right foot forward to meet left, top of back. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale and fold. Push down through your feet, rise to stand, reach up, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart center, and arms by your sides. Please take a turn to the right and face the long edge of your mat. Take a big step out with both your feet and bring your arms out nice and wide. Have a quick check in here. Are your ankles, your wrists in one line, or can you take a wider stance? Turn your right toes to face the back wall. Smudge your left heel slightly out, let the toes point in, and sink into your right knee for warrior two. Please turn your chest more to the person on your left, and keep your gaze over your right hand. What happens when you lunge a little deeper into your right knee? Good. Keep that and reach your hands behind you. Interlace your fingers at your lower back. Bend your elbows to begin and start to squeeze your shoulder blades together. Yeah, keep that and lift your heart. Take a big inhale here. And as you exhale, fold forward, right shoulder to the inner right thigh or resting on your leg. Knuckles can press to the sky. Humble warrior. Symbolic of bowing to the teachers before you ones that have stimulated that spiritual expansion, however it may look. And bowing to the teacher inside of you, the higher self that is free of the ego mind. Release the bind, place your right elbow onto your thigh and extend your left arm Think of really pushing your right elbow into your thigh so that your shoulder, your ear makes some more space from one another. Turn your right ribs up towards the ceiling. Reach your left hand farther to the right and breathe into that space from hip to armpit. Rise with your inhale, warrior two. Soft gaze over your right hand or close your eyes. Bring your hands to your hips, straighten your right leg, and pivot your toes face the long edge of your mat. Turn your heels in and your toes out. Bring your hands to the tops of your thighs for goddess squat. You may want to shift your weight from heel to heel just to get the hips easing into the shape. Think of drawing a straight line down to the ground with your tailbone, and with that downward pulling action, lift your heart up towards the head. Push your hands into your thighs, draw the right shoulder forward and down, and look back to your left. Left shoulder forward and down, look back to your right. One more on each side, right shoulder comes down, breathe into the space between your shoulders. Left shoulder comes down. Come back to center, sink a little deeper into your squat. The goddess squat represents this balance between loving kindness and to stand in our power. That we can be soft and gentle, but still speak our truth. That we can be kind and still be ferocious. Push down through your heels and rise to stand. Once again, feet nice and wide, arms come wide. This time you'll turn your left toes to face forward Drag your right heel out, toes in, sink into your warrior two.
as much as you reach forward with your left hand, keep reaching back with those right fingertips. And let the breath take you deeper. Reach your hands behind you, interlace your fingers at your lower back. Snuggle the shoulder blades together. Take an inhale to open your chest. Exhale to fold forward. Knuckles can lift up towards the air. In this shape, can you lunge a little deeper into your left thigh? Notice if you're holding any tension in your jaw, can you soften the features of your face? Release the bind, left elbow to your thigh, right arm up and overhead. Turn your chest towards the sky, and as much as your right heel pushes down, reach your right hand in the opposite direction. Rise with your inhale, or your two. Soft gaze, or close your eyes and go inward. This is your journey, your practice, your moving meditation. So you take what you need from it. Hands to hips, straighten the left leg, pivot your toes facing the long edge of your mat. Keep the stance nice and wide and tack your elbows toward one another. Soften your knees, hinge forward from your hips, wide leg forward. Hands can place under your shoulders. You can reach for your big toes. You can hold the outer blades of your feet. Wherever you are in this shape, bend into your knees. Let your inner thighs start to spiral outward till you feel your sitting bones lift higher. This is an inversion shape. So the heart is over the head and the nervous system is trying to regulate. So help your nervous system here by breathing with more texture. Hands on your shoulders, take a halfway lift, inhale, exhale and back. Hands to your hips, elbows to the sky, come up nice and slow. Step or hop your right foot to meet your left and turn to face the top of your mat. Shifting your weight into your left foot, lift your right knee and bring your right foot either into the inner left ankle, the shin, or the thigh. And start. Press into your palms like you did in your twist. Feel the elbows rise and breathe into all directions of your ribcage. Further to here, <laughs> reach your arms overhead. Keep energy in your fingertips they're still part of the expression. Further to here, soften your shoulders, lift your heart, and gaze up. Find the breath. Hands to heart. Point your right knee forward. Take your hands to the back of the right thigh and kick your heel out. Spread your toes. From the right big toe, lift a little higher. Step your right foot beside left. Arms by your sides. Pause and feel. Pause and let go a little. These shapes are meant to be challenging. They give us a, a perspective of how we react and how we can start to resist or shift that reaction rate. And perhaps change the course of our actions in doing so. So shift your weight into your right foot. Lift the left heel. Maybe right here is enough into the ankle or the inner calf, or the inner thigh. That's the heart. Take an honest breath here. Feel the back body expand, and in that expansion, reach your arms overhead. Find one point of focus that will help you with stability. Further to here, soften the shoulders, lift the heart, and look up. Upward gaze, connecting to source. Connecting to our, our higher consciousness, felt beyond the mind. Hands to heart, left knee points forward, 
hold the back of your left hamstring and keep your heel out and spread your toes. And the inner thigh lift a little higher. Step your left foot beside right. Arms by your side. Please reach your arms to the sky and look up. Hold forward as you exhale, touch the earth. Take a halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale and bow, plant your hands and step back to downward facing dog. Reach your right leg to the sky, bend your knee, and bring your right knee to your outer right wrist. Land your right shin in an angle and lower down for pigeon pose. Please stay upright for now. Further to here, bend your left knee. Reach for your left foot with your left hand. Your outer hips toward one another. This will help you to stabilize. Find a little more lift. Release the left foot and melt forward as you pose. In yoga anatomy, the jaw and the hips are directly associated with one another. They're said to be the places in the body where we hold our stories, our dialogues. And by gripping to those stories, we hold tension. So as we start that process of letting go and using that lunar energy to facilitate that, then we start to soften what we're holding in our bodies, starting at the jaw, starting at the hip. From forearms, make your way onto your hands. Tuck your left toes under, lift your left knee, and once again, sweep that right leg up and back, stack your right hip over left. Here's where it gets a little spicy. Come onto your right fingertips. Look under your left armpit, reach through your right toes. If you step that right foot wide and take wild things. Lift your hips, lift your heart, open your chest. You got it, you got it. Nice. Downward facing dog. Take three breaths here. Maybe even your largest breaths today. Reach your left leg into the air. Bend with your knee and set up for pigeon pose on the left side. It really helps if you slide your right side back, especially with the bind so that you're more so on the bottom of the quad than right on the kneecap when you bend. Reach for your right foot with your right hand. Release the right foot and melt your chest forward. Downward facing dog. And to 
in child's pose. Bend your knees, keep close touch, knees out wide, melt your chest to the earth. Even in this more passive shape, can you open to a deeper breath? Walk your hands toward your knees so that you're upright. Shifting your weight onto either hip. Extend your legs out in front of you. Take a moment to move the flesh of your seat so you're right on your seated bones. And point your toes up to your nose. Reach your arms overhead and pull forward any amount. Find something to hold you. Whether it's your toes, your ankles, your chins. And as much as you pull your feet back with your hands, can you push your feet into your hand palm? Slowly make your way upright. Bend your knees, place your feet to the ground, and hold the backs of your thighs. Push into your seat, lift your spine taller. You can keep your hand under your thighs to begin. Hold your further to here, bring your arms up beside you. Further to here, straighten your legs. Further to here, reach for your big toes and then straighten your Try to look a little less angry. It's a little intimidating for me. <laughs> Good. We're here for next the class. So we're here for three reps. You got this. Good. Lower your feet. Keep your knees bent. Bring your hands beside your thighs. And slowly lower onto your back. Keep your knees bent and walk your feet nice and close towards your sitting bones. With your hands in line with your body, can you graze your heels with your fingertips? Good. Press into your feet, lift your hips, lift your lower back. Bend your knees more forward and lift the tops of your thighs, your quads higher. Take your heels into the ground. And like you're pushing your heels towards your skull, lift your sitting bones higher. You can stay here with your hands or interlace your fingers under you. Please lift your heels off the ground. Imagine there was a block between your thighs to keep your legs nice and engaged. Keep your heels lifted. Release the bind of your hands. Keep the heels lifted and lower down, then back, low back, twist, and then heel. Please bring the soles of your feet to touch your knees out wide. Where your hands intuitively land, that's where they're meant to be. Breathe into each cell of your body. this heightened time of lunar energy, can we really weave our attention into each cell of our being? And as we become more in tune and more connected to the breath, can we weave this intention into our layers of consciousness? From the conscious to the subconscious to the unconscious mind. Gather your legs toward one another. Have your feet flat on the mat to begin. Lift your right foot off the floor and find the outer edge 
edge, the pinky toe edge of your right foot with your right hand. I want you to widen your right knee over towards the right, towards the floor beside you. And further to here, you can bring your right hand, your left hand rather, to your right heel, pushing the thigh down. Further to here, you can extend your left leg straight along the mat. Breathe into the corner of your right hip. Into the tendons, the ligaments, the joints, into the bone, the muscle, into the skin that lengthens the entire period. Once again, bend your left knee, land your left foot flat to the mat. Release your left hand off your right foot and loop your peace fingers with your pointer, your middle finger, around your right big toe. Extend your right leg straight up to the sky. Pointing your right big toe up towards your right heel. Now look at your right pinky toe and really try to spread your pinky away from your other toes so that your outer calf activates. Keep that and send your right knee or your rather your right foot over towards the right, any amount. Further to here, roll off to the outer edge of your left foot, almost like half butterfly leg. Bring your right foot back to your center, release your big toe, land both your feet flat to the back. Widen your feet, cross into your feet, lift your hips, and send your hips to the right and your knees to the left. You can stay here, you can shake your arms, you can practice shake your arms. You can even hook the left heel over the top of the right thigh. left heel off your right thigh. Have both your knees bent, feet are flat to begin. We'll start with that lizard pose variation. Lift your left foot, find the outer blade of your left foot with your left hand, and widen your knee or thigh bone over to the right. Stay here or to the left. Stay here over your right hand to your left heel and push it down towards the right. Further to here, extend your right leg straight. Relax the wholeness of your breath. Bend your right knee, place your foot to the mat, release your right hand off your left heel, and hook your feet fingers around your left big toe. Send your left foot straight up to the sky. Really engage the foot by spreading your toes. And slowly widen your left foot to the left. Stay here or roll onto the outer edge of your right foot. And like half butterfly leg, bring your right knee out wide. What this does is just create more space in the pelvis, the hips, stable up. Land your right foot flat. 
bring your left leg back to center, release the bind, plant your left foot to the mat. Nice wide stance with the feet, press into your feet, lift your hips, this time nudge your hips to the left and let both knees drift over to the right. Your right heel can hook over your left thigh. Take the same variation in your arm that you did on the opposite. off of your thigh, bring both your knees back to center, hug your right knee to your armpit, your outer right ribs, and extend your left leg straight. As the right side of your belly inflates, continue to use your right thigh to press out the key stagnants that may be sinking to the base of your right leg. Extend your right arm out beside you in line with your shoulder. Use the help of your left hand to guide your right knee across so you roll onto the outer left. You can look over your right shoulder and close your eyes. to your back, keep your right knee bent. This time bring your right knee in towards your chest and round your forehead to your knee bend. Lower down, head, shoulders, right leg. Left knee in towards your armpit, your outer left wrist. Take a few conscious inhales. Take a few honest exhales. Pressing out from the base of your lungs, anything that no longer hurts you. Please reach your left arm wide and use the help of your right hand this time to roll onto your outer right hand. Look over the left shoulder or closing your eyes. to your back, hug your right, your left knee into your heart and round your forehead to your kneecap. Lowering head, shoulders, left leg. Please lift both your feet off the mat and find the outer edges of your feet for a happy baby. Happy baby for you this evening could be swaying your lower back along the ground side to side. Happy baby for you today can be working one leg to straight at a time. Maybe working both legs to straight. You slide your hands to your knees. Give yourself one full final squeeze. Your knees to the chest. Round your nose to your knees. And expand to your final resting place of Shavasana. If you need any clothing to cover you, your towel, place it over your eyes, you're welcome to do so. This is the most important part of the entire practice, the integration. Here where the body registers all the subtle changes, the shifting, the letting go of patterns, building of new neural pathways. Really allow your body to surrender to the shape. Let the 
breath be effortless so that wherever you've landed, you can settle in your two feet deeper. Allow your body to remain heavy. Part your lips and feel the sweet texture of your breath. Swirl the roof of your mouth. A reminder of this internal world. World that is waiting to be explored. A world of expansion, potential. Bring some soft movement to your fingertips and to your toes. Put your arms overhead, point your toes forward, take a nice long stretch. Let's see. Bend your knees, place your feet flat, and roll to your right side. Just pause here for a moment. Feel position. Use the loving help of your hands to lift up to a seat. How we started. Take your left hand and place it over your heart. Please take your right hand over your left. Acknowledging the sounds around you. And with this heightened awareness, tuning into the sounds within you. Come back to the sweet sound of your breath. Back to that pulsing of your heartbeat. So that as you become more aware of your inner landscape, energies that dwell within you, different capacities that union between sun and moon, solar and lunar energy, can be better utilized. Taking time out of your day to practice the community, 
a lovely rest of your evening. Namaste. You're welcome.